hello and a warm welcome to the Total BWF World Championship 2018. The tournament we all have been looking forward to. Welcome to new viewers and welcome back to fans who have been following the game of badminton for long. The coming six days, we are live from the beautiful Nanjing Youth Olympic Sports Park in China. Players from all over the globe have gathered here in Nanjing in total. 49 countries. The World Championship is played annually apart from in the Olympic years. Yesterday we had no real upsets. Today is the second day of the knockout stages, all finishing with the finals on Sunday. We have a great lineup for you today. Two top seeds will be in action. Firstly, in the mixed double, Sheng Siwei and Huang Yachong of China and later the hot favorite in the women's singles, Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei. This obviously amongst many, we have plenty of matches coming up for you in total 12 today. First match on will be mixed doubles between Seng Siwei and Huang Yachong of China versus Evgeny Dremin and Evgenia Dimova of Russia. And here we have the mixed doubles draw. And as you can see, it's the top half. They are having a very interesting match. The winners of this in the next match where they will play Faisal and Vijaya, maybe if they pass by the Indian pair. The Indonesian pair, they are the Thailand champions just a few weeks back. So once again, welcome to the Total World Championships. And here we have the lineup, as you can see, Sheng Siwei and Huang Yachong is number two in the world against number 24. No doubt, obviously, that the Chinese combination, Sheng and Wang, are the favorites to take this match. They have been playing extremely steady on the world scene for quite a while now, and have a win in the Malaysian Open Super 750 not long ago. That was just a few weeks back. Here we have the players on to court. The very experienced Russian pair in white against uh, the youngsters from China. Sheng Siwei is just 21 years old and partner Wang Yachong is 24. Compared to the Russian pair, where uh, Dremin is 37 years of age and partner Dimova is 36 years of age. And we are getting ready here to toss off the coin and the head to head between the two pairs. As you can see on your screen, it's the first meeting between these two pairs. So the Chinese combination chose to serve and the Russian combination standing closest to the camera here. And we will have the traditional two minutes warming up before the match is starting, giving us an opportunity to introduce the two players or the four players to you. Here, Huang Yachong in the picture. And as you can see, age 24, 165 centimeters. The ranking at the moment is number two in the world and the highest uh, she has been is number two and of course with her partner, Sheng Siwei. They have stayed number two in the world for four weeks 
And here the profile of Parker Seng Siwei, age 21, really youngster coming up in the world, 175 centimetres, and the same ranking applies. But he has been as high as number one in the world with Chen Ching Chen, his former partner before the partnership was split up. This is the first match for the Chinese duo here in the World Championship, where the uh, opponents had a match yesterday, but we will come back to that. And here the profile of Evgeny Dremin, as I mentioned earlier, age 37, 194 is the tall athlete. And the ranking is 24, and the highest have been is 17. The partner here, Evgenia Dimova, is age 36, 175 centimeters, and the same ranking applies. 24 presently, and the highest they have been is 17 on the world ranking. That actually happened on the 20, sorry, the 28th of June this year. The way to this second round for the Russians, they beat the Chinese Taipei pair in three games yesterday. It was a, an open affair, but winning 21-16 in that final game. Just this last exercises before we get this match going. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Defendi Dreaming, Defendi Dimova, Here we have the Russia. Kasahara of Japan. And on my left, and the Tenshi service Wei judge is and Kans Balu. China. Of Estonia. Fire team to South to Defendi Dreaming, Lobo. Play. Out. Service over. One block. Two block. Good start here by the Russians. Three, Three love up. A very solid around that service situation. Service fault called too high. So the first service, service fault is caught. Three. In the match, it was too high, meaning the shuttle is struck above 115 centimeters. Service over four, one. It's a new rule in badminton on the service, and it's still in a testing situation. And uh, it's very nice to see that badminton has, has really been looking into that service situation and trying to come up with solutions on, you know, how to judge whether a service is too high or legally correct and so forth. It's really nice to see we have the discussion. Three, four. Look at the power here coming from the man from China going cross court and Dimova really not able to defend that one. And this is a very fine example of uh, why not to push 
this one is pushed all the way down the line and then Seng Siwei intercepted that really well going cross court there is no doubt that the Russian pair have to try to play shots like this try to get them below the tape as much as possible like the shots they played here trying to get that control because as soon as the Chinese combination here gets into the attack they are deadly they really really play well combination uh, started in uh, late last year 2017 by winning the first three tournaments they took part in yeah, good interception here by Wang Yachong read it very nicely on the backhand side by playing this around the head shot but not only that she managed to get it into the center of the court that made it so difficult really well played eight five up Duo won the Macau Open, the China Open, and the Hong Kong Open in the first three tournaments they played last year. And what a start to that combination it was. Once again, really well covered by Dimova there. But this is what the Russians cannot afford to be under pressure like this on the defense as much as they're what they are now because the attack from the uh, two Chinese, Seng Si Wei and Wang Ya Chong is just too strong. 10 6, just one point away from the uh, mid game interval. Good return of serve. Time is over. 7 10. So Seng Si Wei and Huang Yachong goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-7 and here very fine example of yet another good approach on the service return. We are ready here to commence after the break. Eleven seven. It's a very interesting break off of the Chinese combination because uh, Sheng Siwei was number one in the world with Chen Ching Chen. And Huang Yachong was actually number two in the world with her partner Lu Kai at the same time. And despite that, they still decided to split up the two pairs. Timowa. Time is over. Starting late. 
Good defensive work here by the Chinese. However, all in vain. The Russian pair got closer and closer and closer to that net and managed to finish it off. And the score is 13-9. Dima had to serve to Wang Yachong. It's out. 10-13. That was a clever, clever shot by Dream in there. That mid-court area shot, but that lift is left, but it's call in. There is a misjudgment here by Seng Siwei. And the gap between the two pairs is just two points. Trying to have a look at this one. Yep, right on the line. Of course, these are the kind of mistakes that the Russians cannot afford. It was a fairly simple shot, goes down as a, an unforced error. Uh, good disguise. Wonderful, wonderful disguise here by Siwei. Trying to have a look at this. The disguise here, threatening with the smash and then the drop shot is coming. Service over. 12, 15. Partnership of the two Russians goes back to 2014. So they are very experienced as a mixed doubles player, Service not only in, in terms of uh, of course, age, 37 and 36 years of age, but also in the fact that the partnership have played together for at least the past four years. Yeah, that was inevitable. Of course, Huang Yachong was covering that one there. She was already moving out there in anticipation, and she was right. Initiative and the attack, another block shot. All fight for initiative here. Initiative given away by the Russians. And this is where the Chinese are so good. They're good on the attack. And no doubt, if you want to beat this Chinese combination, you have to find ways of securing the attack and put them under pressure. They are far better attacking than they are defending. That's out. 20, game point 13. 20, game point 13. Seven po game points here. Moving up 
alongside his partner to get the initiative and the attack and finish it off. With scores of 21-13 here in the first game. Look at how he moved up next to his partner. And here we have the confirmation, 21-13 in 12 minutes. Один раз можно плоско, чтобы отодвинуть, потом раз, раз. Они выстроились, увидел, да, увел. И давайте на добивание сейчас концентрируемся, что в центр делаем. Потому что вы стараетесь по диагоналям добивать, попадаете в ракетки. Они... Так что центр, да? По поля вот тут стандарт тоже нельзя принимать вот так снизу вверх. Либо ты сетку играешь, либо тогда просто диагональ, ну вот такой вот плоский делаешь и держишь вот этот жесткий. А он прямой, потому что вот эти вот в средней зоне все накрывает. Очень жестко картина. Даже если попадешь. Давай, мать. Давай. 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 I can tell you that the Russian pair have won three tournaments this year. They won the Austrian Open, the Brazil International Challenge, and the Spanish International Challenge. Level play, second game. Service over, one run. this the way that Seaway is placing his one. smash on the forehand side of Dreaming. Look at this. On that forehand side, really well played. Gives excellent opportunity for the partner to go in and attack it as what she did here, Wang Ya Chong. Good placement of that smash. Time is over. Two. Three. Yeah, that should be punished. The quality of the shots here. I can see he's Three. shaking his head. See way. Oh. The quality of the shots really let him down. That cross court, yeah, that one there is way too high. Give good opportunity for Dimova and then finished off by dreaming. That's well left. That's really well left. Just out on that back line. Serving by Ya Chong. One, three. Very difficult to attack when it comes like that, and uh, Di Mova made a mistake. Really good serving. When you serve that well, it adds on a lot of pressure on the other pair. 
Very important to get out of that service situation in the best possible way. And here, once again, Yao Chong is finding the right spot, really on the forehand side of Dremin once again. Score is 6-3 for China. There by Dimova. She did not take that serve, was very high. Yeah, that's well left on the sideline by Seaway. Moving in there, getting into a defensive situation. But look at that, leaving that one well left. We get the, uh, the cop court marked here. There's a chance just to towel down for the players. Get ready again. Constructed by the Russians here. Unfortunately for them, Dremin is uh, missing that last shot. Attacking shot, top of the tape, didn't go over. And just one point away from the mid-game interval. 10-5 it is. The scores on your screen is probably not correct. Now going into the uh, mid-game interval with a lead of 11-5. Long on the back line, but what a positive return of serve by Dremin there. Unlucky for him that it did not work out. Once again, good serving by Yajong. Oh. This is where we see his so quick seaway. Sometimes I think that uh, the power is not enough. Great opportunity there, going cross court, but did not make it count. Oh. No, 
No, that's going wide. That was a huge misunderstanding there between the two Russian players. Try to have a look at this. Yeah. Luckily, nothing happened. It can be quite a dangerous situation. Get the racket in, in your face. It's definitely not a nice thing to happen. And that got punished straight away. And on the right. 8 13. Yeah, good play here once again, mixing it up really nicely. Sometimes going for the power smash, sometimes going for these block shots. And this one directed to the center, which creates even more confusion. Well played by Sheng Si Wei. 16 8. Constructed here by Dreamin. The cross court block 17. shot from uh, his backhand side really was very cleverly played. Found the gap in the Chinese combination here. And that's where he's got to watch out for the drift. Drift is coming from uh, 19, right to left. That's when we see it from the camera, this camera here. The drift is going from, from right to left. Play into the deep forehand corner, always a tricky spot. Not easy to defend. And even for a player like Cheng Si Wei, it was trouble this time. 10, 19. And match point has arrived, 20 match point, 10, 10 man match points in total. Just needed the one, 21, 10. For Seng Si Wei and Wang Ya Chong again, still dreaming. It was a tall order for the two Chinese, sorry, for the two Russians here up against the Chinese favorites, the number one seed in the tournament. Played a solid match. And here we have the final point, match point. 21-10. 